and you see on your screen, there's your age discrepancy. There it is, yes. Lonnie sir. Burton by no means an old man at 26, but Wick just 19 years old, same weight. Burton a little bit of a reach advantage at 70 to 67. Uh, how big can, I mean, just something as small as three inches on a reach, how much of a difference can that well, make? That can be a lot. You know, three inches is a lot, but then again. Let's head now into the ring with Britt Talbert. Fighters, ladies and gentlemen. First, fighting out of the red corner with a record of 0 and 1, standing 5 feet 5 inches tall and weighing in at 145 pounds. He represents hardcore Idaho right here in Boise, Idaho. This is Lonnie Burton. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner with a record of one win against one loss, standing at five feet seven inches tall, also weighing in at 145 pounds, representing Combat Fitness and Straight Blast Gym, Josh Wick. Our referee when the action begins will be Mr. Scott Marker. And now, fight fans, here we go with another Downtown Throwdown! Rich Albert getting a little fired up in there. That's always fired up. He makes it exciting uh, for any event he does. I always love having him, hearing him and just the excitement he brings. You could have a conversation about buying a three-ring binder at Shopco and make it entertaining. <laughs> and let's see who's going to open up with uh, both striking. The yellow shorts, that's Josh Wick. Lonnie Burton in the white shorts. Each exchanging a couple of early jabs. Good right there from Burt getting through the defense. Yeah, really trying to find the distance on the strikes here very early. Now, Vic does look like a baby up there, doesn't he? He does. Burt, He's hanging in there. Now, Burt getting after him with a couple. A good little spin there. A roundhouse kick with a back fist. Amazing. Decent energy here over the first minute of the first round of this three-round fight. Lonnie looks like a very strong, strong guy in there. You know, he's very solid build, so uh, I think if he gets a hold of you, you feel it. Oh, nice left hook by Rick. Looks like Wick with a little bit of a cut in the nose, a little bit of a bloody nose, nothing significant at this point. Taking the punches very well. Burton's definitely landed a couple pretty good pokes here. Both of them, I like this fight. Very, you know, very action-packed, striking at each other. Taking and giving by both of them. Tying up along the cage. Just under three and a half minutes left in the first round. If it goes the distance, it'll be three five-minute rounds. And as we saw in our first fight, fatigue can come into play, especially once you get deep into that third round. Definitely. These guys are definitely throwing some strikes. They're not uh, just throwing these setup punches. Oh. Hard left hook oh. and a front kick. No fear. These guys just getting after it here. These guys are hungry for it. I like this action from both sides. Good uppercut there by Burton. Burton again in the white, Wick in the yellow. Nice front kick by Wick. Judging his distance and a left hook again, straight right. He's, he works pretty good on those kicks. He does. He's definitely finding his distance here for the striking. How hard can that be when you're especially young in the sport, not a lot of experience? Well, it, you know, it can be hard, but he seems very uh, experienced, though. He's relaxed in there. He's going hard, but he, he steps back and, and takes a breath and relaxes in between the striking exchanges. And it looks, he looks good. Burton trying to get Wick on the ground there. Can't quite get him. Less than two good minutes to go here. Wick on his backside. Has Burton by that right arm a little bit. Keeping that uh, Burton's arm locked for a chance of an armbar. 
feel the spin the other way. He's going for the haymaker with those arm drops on his head. Hasn't quite connected yet, but boy, he's come close. Rick doing a good job of controlling the fight. Right now, taking good advantage of the position he's in. Minute 15 to go here in the first round, fight number two. Burns in the corner, trying to get him on his feet. And maybe that's a sign of uh, some fatigue setting in too. I mean, could be. A lot of energy expended by both fighters early. Definitely all those hard striking. You get tired, it's hard to just explode yeah. to get up on something like that. Less than a minute to go, Burton trying to get free. He's able to get on his feet. Good work by Burton. Rick, however, inflicted a little bit of damage. Right in front of us now. They wow, good yeah. right. He is shaking. Burton is shaking right now. He's he definitely a little wobbly. Just try and get to that bell at this point. Oh, wow. This could be it. 20 seconds to go. Can Burton protect himself to finish just, this round? Just trying to ride it out. And it looks like Burton will survive until the, Saved by the, until the horn. Very dazed there. Very dazed oh, Burton he... was by Wick. Put yourself in the referee's shoes here. What are you looking for in a situation like that before you put that arm in the air and say, hey, we're going we're gonna to pull, pull the well, plug? Well, the first thing is obviously, you know, is the fighter unconscious in any way where he could get hurt? Uh, and the next thing is, are they protecting himself? If it comes to a point where he's on the mat, getting pounded on and he can't protect himself, well, it's time to stop the fight just before he gets hurt and something bad can happen. And that's a good referee will do that. And what I like there with 10 seconds left, he got in very close to watch Burton. Yeah. He was still protecting himself. He didn't get in trouble, so he just let the round finish out. And then uh, hopefully he'll get some energy to go into the second. So Lonnie Burton. Josh Wick on the far side actually sitting down to catch his breath. Burton up on up on his feet here as he gets ready to go. It looks like both fighters cut a little bit. Nothing significant at this point, but it bears watching as it, as it prolongs well, here. That's what you do. They come out swinging, striking. Both of them wanting to strike, which is very exciting. Uh, both guys doing a very good job of you know keeping this crowd into this. Scott Jorgensen, an MMA fighter across the way behind Josh Wick, supporting him as we're underway in round number two. And you talked about some of those body blows, the, the kicks, the front kicks and whatnot, taking a toll here. Just like that, it's a great way to keep your distance. He uses that very efficiently. Good punch there from Wick. You know, Wick really looks like, you know, whether they're not difference in height very much, but his legs look very long. He uses them well. One of the fighters from the first Front Street fights, Ricky Steele already getting an opportunity oh, to Big left kick. Huge head and kick. this might be just about it. That one definitely got Burton. That stunned him in a big way, and I don't know how much Burton's going to be able to protect himself here, but... He's trying. He's hanging in as best he can here right now, but... Here naked choke, I believe. And this should be just and about it. That's over. Good job by Rick. Very impressed by Wick, as when I seen him a few years ago to this, he's, he looks good. For a 19-year-old boy, he looks really good. Well, I was where I was starting to go there is that Ricky Steele has a good showing in the first fight, and it, play, it platformed him into a, a, a bigger move. For a guy like Josh Wick, how much can a strong showing here maybe jumpstart him? You know, it's good. I mean, this is that's if he wants to continue as a young guy to progress, become a good fighter, maybe make it to the UFC to someday, this is what he's got to do. Just saw the replay of that uh, that connection there, and and Burton. I give him a lot of credit trying to hang in there, but the old the old knees were gone there. He didn't have much left after that. Yeah, he did what the right thing there is drop down and you know try and protect himself, and um, he just couldn't quite come to it and whip you know threw in the threw in the choke. Good job by both fighters. Very exciting. So submission in the second round. Let's go in now, Britt Talbert. He will have your official final tally from this one.
Hey, fight fans. How about that? A couple of Boise boys going at it tonight. That's right. Well done. We have a winner here. Well, this submission down about at 57 seconds of the second round, improving his record to two wins against one loss. It's Josh Wick. Congratulations to Josh Wick. Now two and one on his young career. There's another look at that left boot. Wow. Let's go to Britt Talbert. As you came in here tonight, a couple of Boise guys, did you have the scouting report on your opponent? Yeah, I knew a little bit about him. I had a teammate who fought him, and I knew he was going to be tough and in shape, so I prepared the best I could and kind of worked all my skills. I knew he was well-rounded. So. What's what's next for you now? I mean, you never want to plan on a victory, but you got another one under your belt. What's next? Yep, uh, I'm going to be fighting September 6th in Wyoming, and then after that, I think I want to um, get a rematch with Gutches, the guy who beat me for my debut. But I'm glad with my performance tonight. I, I performed pretty well, and I'm looking to keep it, keep it going. So. I want to throw something out there to your fans. You don't, you don't have a nickname, right? You don't come in here as a, you know what? Does this not look like a baby-faced assassin right here, ladies and gentlemen? That's what that looks like. How about it again for Josh Wick, ladies and gentlemen?